This next-gen demo is presented by State Farm. Rev3 Games at E3, Vivid Touch Booth. Um, I am now joined by a man who's, well, his original game, or at least how I first got to know him, uh, warmed its way into my heart in every way possible. This is Ryan Fleming of Sucker Punch. You guys once made Sly Cooper. You're, of course, now known for the infamous franchise, the infamous Second Son, which will be coming to the PlayStation 4. Thanks so much for your time. Oh, thanks for having me. So, Second Son, this is, it is infamous, but it's not Cole, right? New character. What was kind of the decision to sort of reboot it? Is it because it's also going onto a brand new platform It kind of needed, you know, to get, start over? Well, I think there are, there are two big factors. The first is that we really wanted to reinvent everything for a new platform and telling origin stories, you know, in, in superhero and superhuman genre, those are some of the best stories. And so the ability to go there was a big deal. Um, I think also a really important factor was the trophy data from the last game when we completed uh, an analysis of what players actually did at uh -huh. the end of Infamous 2. You know, almost 80% of the players chose to play the game in a way that ended up with Cole sacrificing himself. So it seemed like it was a reasonable way to honor the choices of the players. See, look, I mean, I, I, I just love this idea because you know, people playing the game really did have an impact on yeah, sort of its right. narrative direction. That's that, absolutely that's true. That's very, very enlightening. Yeah. Well, well, let's go ahead and roll some of this tape. So, obviously it is on a new platform. Um, what we've seen is like, okay, Infamous, it is very, very pretty looking. Yeah. What else are you able to take advantage of? Not just with the, with the kind of the graphical prowess, right. but stuff that's inside of the PlayStation 4 that helps you expand right. you know, what's, what's possible in the game. Right, well, I, you know, I think one of the most important characters in any superhuman powers-based fantasy is the powers themselves. And so in this game, you know, we're already showing smoke powers, but Delston's going to have multiple power sets. And the, the new hardware has really opened up what we can do just with the effects. And you know, for us, the effects and the powers are such an important part of the gameplay that uh, I think it's a really worthy undertaking to go and re-engineer everything to take advantage of that. And then obviously, you know, it, is, it, it, it looks like it's back in Seattle. It is in and, Seattle. And it is, once again, open world. Yeah. But what are you now able to do in terms of just the, the geography that, right. that, that, that you can place right. in it? So, um, uh, as you said, the game does take place in Seattle. It's actually our home city. It's, uh, I assure you, it's not a provincial decision. Yes, and it was, it was the WTO riots that yeah, you know, were the inspiration for this whole they thing. They certainly shared a part in it. Um, but you know, for us, now that we, we, we have the new generation of hardware, we can look at what we could never have done before, even in just lighting and, and, and weather and, and rain. And trust me, we have plenty of rain in Seattle. <laughs> so, so we can go and, and take that and really take the level of detail on everything to levels we, we just couldn't have reached before. And uh, the, the powers, I mean, are they similar? Once again, I only know Infamous 1 and 2, so yeah. as sort of a corollary to that, the disappearance and, and sort of what he's doing, are, are you going to be playing Delson much differently than Cole, or? Well, I think that really important to us is that each of the different powers he acquires is going to change the way you play the game. Um, and so here, with the smoke powers, He's got this ability to sort of move quickly through space, to move through an enemy and then grab him from behind, to travel through ventilation systems in buildings, like you just did on the screen there. And all of that changes the way you play. And, and when you get other power sets, I think you'll expect to see some changes in that. And then, as you all, you know, the old standby in Infamous is that how you play it kind of karmically matters as well. And so whether you're playing kind of on the evil side or if you're trying to be, you know, a real hero, that will also affect the way the game plays. So, you know, I think there'll be a lot of control by the player and how the game actually goes. Are you tinkering at all with like playing him good or bad? Like if you, if you go back to the original Infamous, right? You know, some of the binary split was you can either save everyone or drown kittens. And yes. you know, it was kind of you know, it was, it was kind of quite clear yeah. what, the, what the options were. Well, I think that we always look for ways to make the game uh, have more meaning in all of the choices. And so when we get ready to sort of talk about that stuff, um, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. So what is Delson's power? This doesn't look like right. a straight electricity as it was with coal. Oh no, no. This is uh, this power source is entirely about. Um, uh, uh, collecting and then either using as a weapon or transforming yourself into smoke. Um, and so all of this, these powers uh, that we're showing here today are all deriv are derived from the smoke power source. Um, I, 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 you probably won't go into it in, in, in too many specifics, but why smoke? Well, um, I think that it's really important to us. I'll give you an example. Um, electricity worked well in the last game because it was present in the environment. 
and smoke is something that you might find in the environment. And so uh, that, that makes it a reasonable choice. We can't choose to have our power source be, you know, unobtainium. Uh, it's got to be something that's right. present. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I guess also the, the use of electricity in Infamous, in particular in the first game, sure. I don't want to say it's socially conscious, yeah. but it really there, there, there's a social awareness in the game of the idea that something that everyone is so dependent on right. that is run by certain powers are now all inside of one person. Yeah, I think that in this game, I, philosophically, I think it's much more about the conflict between what uh, we are willing to surrender about our freedom to try and gain security. And so I think less about maybe that issue and more about, you know. Not timely at all. Yeah, I know. Happy, Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, you know, it's kind of, it, it does feel kind of ripped from the, the front headlines. pages this week. Um, but it's very much kind of at the philosophical core of this game is that tension. I mean, we're starting to see this more and more where we are having games that kind of are aware that it's part of a larger cultural yeah. spectrum. You guys are, I think, we're kind of first out of the gate with the first infamous to do that. Um, I'm, I mean, how do you sort of see games as a viable way for social commentary or being right. part of sort of a larger discussion? Well, I think from our standpoint, like I think one of the things that makes this game interesting at a, a thematic level is that we're not we're not here to say, hey, one side's right or wrong. I think if we do our jobs right, right we'll actually present compelling arguments on both sides. And the game can become a discussion point, a way for people to think about the world around them and the choices that we're making collectively. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting because the way that you as the player engage yourself into the narrative, in the yeah. case of this, you can actually sort of affect the narrative. That right. it's, you know, there, there's this sort of real life and there's how we like things to work. Yeah. It's something that's a little bit more pop. But this is a pretty normal thing. I mean, a lot of philosophy books have been written that are you know, done in that way. So you know, I think what we want to do with Infamous is let people explore the space. Um, also, back, back to the game with some of the fascinating technical. I mean, you have a lot of destruction now. Yeah. How destructible is the world and how does that affect your ability to do level design? I was just talking with, with the DICE people for Battlefield 4 sure. and how that changed with their multiplayer. Well, I think that um, you know the level of detail, including destruction, that we're able to bring in this generation is obviously dramatically improved from where we were last gen. Um, and in terms of level design, I think the biggest challenges for us is that we're doing an open world game, and so you know players have always been able to run around any obstacle we have. And so I think for a lot of the stuff that we've done, it doesn't present a ton of new problems. Uh, it, it, it really is just kind of our, our way of letting players have more freedom, and, and destruction is part of that freedom. It, it, it definitely shows you can affect the world around you. Yeah. Um, one final thing, this is coming out in the first quarter or, or, or in, of, of 2014. What was the need to not be able to have this at, at the launch of the PlayStation 4? You know, uh, we're, we're going to launch this title when it's as good as we can make it, and uh, when we spoke with Sony about the right launch window, we decided this was it, so uh, we're excited to be able to to continue to work on the game for as long as they'll let us and they'll have to <laughs> you know, drag it away so they can go to manufacturing. Well, I know I have to wait a little bit longer, but I'm still as enthused as I was when I first saw it. Brian, it's always a pleasure to talk. Hope we get to do it soon. Look forward to it. Thanks, man. Remember, in real life, you can't just reload your last save. Take your insurance game to the next level. Visit statefarm.com.